Today we will attend the Wednesday Massachusetts on February 28, 2024. Wednesday of the second week of Lent, please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass.
Let us now pray the Jubilee Prayer for Lakbay Lourdes tungo sa dakilang hubileyo. Please kneel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, wellspring of hope, we praise you for always guiding us in our earthly pilgrimage. We approach your throne, though unworthy that we are, to seek your mercy and grace. Look upon us with kindness as we ask for your abundant blessings in our new journey to prepare to celebrate three significant milestones in the church and our shrine in 2025. We look forward, full of hope and happiness, for the coming Jubilee year of 2025, a new season of grace for the church and for the world. As pilgrims of hope, we pray that in walking together to bring the light of Christ to all who need it, we may instill in them greater trust in you and your great love, that they may find in you true freedom, healing, and lasting peace. We joyfully anticipate also the 40th year of the Philippine province of the Order of Friars Minor Capuchins. This noble band of the Holy Father, St. Francis, has helped in spreading the Catholic faith and immense devotion to Our Lady, the Virgin of Lourdes in our country as they continue to do their mission of being heralds of peace and goodwill, especially to the poor, may they reap a bountiful harvest of souls for your kingdom. Lastly, with thankful hearts, we await the fifth anniversary of the canonical coronation of the venerated image of Our Lady of Lourdes. Devotion to her has brought hope to the sick, the sorrowing, and the sinner. As we continue to express our own wavery our unwavering piety towards her. May she continue to draw multitudes to return to you and have trust in you, the source of healing and forgiveness. Together with Saint Bernadette, the messenger of the Immaculate Conception, we lift up to you, Almighty God, this prayer and all the desires of our hearts. As we prepare, walk together, and honor your most splendid and glorious name. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Saint Bernadette Subiru, pray for us. Blessed Jose Maria de Manila, pray for us. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, chief and commander of the heavenly hosts, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the divine king and our admirable conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, Deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Amen. Please rise for the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection 
Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the National Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes. Today is Wednesday of the second week of Lent. Our Eucharistic celebration will be presided by Reverend Father Artemio Raimundo of the Order of Friars Minor Capuchin. Please rise. Forsake me not, O Lord. My God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. Uh, the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the second mysteries. You are sent to heal contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here, as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priests, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd, 
that frighten me from every side as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Let us now listen to the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. She answered, and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left. Whoever, this is not mine to give, but is for those to for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant in that two, at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, Jesus and the Gospel at the end give some kind of uh, the core of the Gospel. He says, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. 
Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Sisters and brothers, many times, even unconsciously, we tend actually to imagine or to wish that other people serve us. And many times we wish that we will be a bit uh, higher than others. No one or very few among us will have to wish to, to be at the last place. Very few would like to be in the last place. Sisters and brothers, and that is why Jesus in today's gospel, in a way at the end, give them this strong advice. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Sisters and brothers, the Christian community usually is a community of believers who serve one another. And everyone, if it is true to his, to his or her faith, must always strive to serve one another. Sisters and brothers, if we try to examine our attitude, we do not want to follow the advice of Jesus. That is, to serve and not to be served. Sisters and brothers, the Christian community is a community of believers and it is a community of those who want to serve one another freely. Sisters and brothers, many times our purpose in life is actually just the opposite. We wish to be served and many times we avoid serving others because we tend to put the service of others as some kind of, uh, you may say, kind of putting us down. It is the work of the servant. Sisters and brothers, I remember I was with some students, Kapusin students from Pakistan when I was a rector in Tagaytay. So since we are the ones cleaning our house, our, our seminary, so each one has to be given a kind of a, a place to clean. Some clean the, let me say, the uh, kitchen, or some clean the refectory, but others may be assigned to clean the comfort rooms. Sisters and brothers, there were three of them who were assigned to the comfort rooms. And I was surprised at the end of the day when I tried to really investigate whether the, um, you see, the uh, comfort rooms were cleaned. I was surprised that it was not cleaned. And so therefore I called those who are in charge of cleaning why the comfort rooms were not cleaned. 
And I was surprised when they told me their cleaning comfort rooms are the work of servants. Imagine servants, her slaves. It is not the work of free people. It is the work of those who are at the bottom of the society. Because as you see in Pakistan or some other parts, uh, there, uh, we may say, there are some kind of uh, uh, stages of uh, uh, the people in the community. If you are somewhere at the bottom of uh, the group, you will be given what you say, uh, some hard work. And so therefore, I was surprised when they said, cleaning the comfort rooms are the work of slaves. And I told them, you see, when you enter the Capuchin order, you enter a community, and we are called Sons of Francis Friars Minor, and therefore, we do not tend to be, how we may say, up, or we try to outdo one another. We have to serve one another. So therefore, cleaning the comfort rooms are part of our community living. Sisters and brothers, it took them a long time to really accustom themselves eh, to work in the comfort room. It was so kind of, uh, for them, uh, a kind of work of a slave to clean the comfort rooms. Eh. As you see, when you are in the seminary, as in any kind of convent, eh, we try to have a kind of work uh, we uh, have uh, to pass through cleaning the comfort rooms, the uh, refectory, or the, I may say, the ground. So no one is excused, even me. I have to clean. I have also to clean the comfort room. And, and I'm not ashamed to do that. But this... Uh, Seminarians were actually very, how you may say, adamant. They don't want to clean the comfort room precisely because they are the work of a servant. Sisters and brothers, you see, when you enter a Christian community, you enter already a community uh, where there is no one who is up or down. You are the same. You work and you try to go through any work in the community from washing the dishes to cleaning the comfort rooms to cleaning the ground. No one is, I uh, may say, excuse. It is, as you see, account the work which is that a guy, you may say, for servants. You work not because there is some kind of, uh, you may say, some kind of uh, uh, honor or some kind of, uh, uh, you have to get some kind of uh, uh, payment or wages. You work because you for the love of God. Everything is done for love of God, sisters and brothers. That is why when one complains about working and then that it is the work of a servant, Jesus was the Lord. Jesus was the King. Jesus was in a way the one who taught his disciples to serve one another. Although he was the Lord, who was the king, who was the master, sisters and brothers, our 
condition as Christians, as followers of Christ, we tend sometimes to put some kind of division or some kind of, uh, we may say, uh, uh, you should, um, make, make some kind of, uh, uh, we may say, uh, 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 kind of uh, making others uh, uh, do the work. Sisters and brothers, uh, here in the gospel, Jesus says, uh, whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. And that is so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many sisters and brothers. We live in a community and during our IMSC seminary days, we have to work. We cannot in a way be excused from any kind of work. We have to pass through cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the ground, cleaning the toilets, cleaning uh, the bedrooms. We have to do some manual work. And we have to any way kind of uh, put that in the mind of people that manual work is not the work of a slave. Because Jesus, when he was young and when he was in their family uh, with um, Joseph and Mary, he helped also in the carpentry and work in the household chores. Uh, he worked like a slave. And therefore, sisters and brothers, uh, we who follow Jesus cannot simply minimize or try to look down on the what you call the manual work. And that is why, sisters and brothers, I, you see, when I was a rector of the seminary, I let it be shown to the seminarians that I am not excused in cleaning. I also clean the dishes. I wash the dishes, clean the toilets, clean the ground. Sisters and brothers, Jesus is very clear today that whoever wishes to be first must be your slave. And those who wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Sisters and brothers, our work, the manual work, is a sign of uh, giving importance to this work. Because if Jesus gave us an example, he worked, Mary also worked, Joseph also worked. So therefore, manual labor is not something to, be, to look down or something uh, to be ashamed of. That is why, sisters and brothers, we are like Jesus in the family, uh, the holy family in Nazareth. We do all the works. Uh, because the family of three, Joseph, Mary, and Joseph, uh, and Jesus, uh, you see, there are only three of them. And the work at the kitchen, the work at the house, the work on the carpentry, they always, in a way, kind to help one another. Sisters and brothers, I wish to inculcate to the minds of people that manual work is uh, very important. That at an early age, parents must teach their children the really, uh, the, what you call, the value of manual work. Many times, our children grow up with so many servants, so many household, uh, we may say, help, helpers. Uh, and that is why many of them also do not give, uh, we may say, value to manual work. Uh, sisters and brothers, you are uh, parents who are well off. Uh, 
Even if you can afford servants in your family, you must teach your children the really the dignity of work that at an early age they must learn at least to wash the dishes or to wash some kind of, uh, to help in the household chores uh, to let them understand that work is noble. Work is yeah, dignified for all of us. Uh, that we are man, not be ashamed of working of uh, in a way of uh, the manual labor. And so therefore, sisters and brothers, the gospel of today reminds us of this important thing. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. At, uh, in our homes, in the family, we must teach our children at an early age the dignity of work because it is something that we are following the holy family of Nazareth. And work is one of the important elements of a family. Amen. That's all strength. Mindful of the words of Jesus, that the greatest is the one who serves. We pray to God, our Father, for a true spirit of service among all people. And we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may be true servants, acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his followers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders may exercise their power for the good of the people and avoid discord and distrust. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may realize that success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering, endured in union with Christ, can be turned into a great blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may reap the rewards of their earthly sufferings in eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we manifest our own personal intentions. Heavenly Father, help us to serve each other by imitating your Son who laid down his life for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please rise. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you. 
and by this all exchange undo the bonds of our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride contribute on the feeding of the poor and so help us to imitate you in your kindness and so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, inebriate me, 
Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Good Jesus, hear me. In your wounds, hide me. Apart from you, let me never be. From the enemy, defend me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may always be praising you eternally. Amen. Please rise. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray the Novena to Our Mother of Perpetual Health. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Please kneel. Navina Prayer Dearest Mother of Perpetual Help, From the cross, you gave, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, 
Share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much. Help us do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in the genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be faithful to the promises we made at baptism. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in the moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. 
that we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care for and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and the sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may promote the equality of men and women. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Thanksgiving Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love, to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through the Novena, Inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love. To the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Sick Lord Jesus Christ, You bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and, and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning.
Vô Từ Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé